Okay, and Jeff has gained a level. Jeff is now level 2! Maximum HP went up by 2. Jeff's level is number 3! Level 3! Level 3! Three. Elfins went up by 2. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Oh, and that is fantastic! Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Captain Forest Falcon, and today we are playing still as Jeff with his, all, with his awesome new accomplice, Super Bubble Ninja Monkey! Who I've decided... His real name is Bubba Gump. That's right, he's Bubba Gump, but he doesn't go by that name. He prefers the Ninja Monkey. Super Bubble Ninja Monkey, Super Bubble Ninja Monkey's taking out his pop gun and he's hunting down your ass. <laughs> okay, that's a bit crude, but we'll roll with it. And, yeah, I was gonna check out this tent. Let's go in the tent, because it's, oh my gosh, who are you guys? So why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink. Perhaps some tea? Why yes, thank you sir. I'd love to have a nice cup of tea. Wait, where's my cup of tea? You cheated me, you jerk. Where's my tea? Give me my tea, you bastards. I want my tea and my nap. Yes. Thank you. That was some very nice tea. And I'm very pissed off. And you didn't give that to me sooner, you wanker! Are you feeling much better now? Good luck. Ninja Monkey! Sick him! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm on a sugar high right now. Did I just come down here? I think I did, and I think it was a dead end, and there's a gruff goat, and that gruff goat has an awesome goatee, because awesome goatees are what gruff goats have, and we're fighting you, sir. Fighting you, Mr. Gruff Goat. Mr. Gruff Goat. Oh, let's use Spot. BAM! That's what you get when you mess with the Ninja Monkey. See, Ninja Monkey out hit you. Gruff Goat offense is 8, defense is 23, vulnerable to PSI, fire, PSA, freeze, and hypnosis. And we'll save everything else we have. Monkey! No, Ninja Monkey, don't scratch your head. Although, he probably has some secret weapon hidden in his fur, and you would never guess it. Or rather, sorry, it's not fur, it's hair. Monkeys have hair, silly. Bubble Monkey! Ninja Bubble Monkey! Attack! <laughs> Jeff's now level 4. Offense went up by 1. Oh, baby! Defense went up by 3. Speed went up by 2. Guts went up by 2. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. And you know, since we're speaking of the Ninja Monkey right now, I actually it actually reminded me of something that I did that was really silly when I was a kid. So, um... Just wondering, uh, do any of you guys remember that commercial about the house hippo? Well, it was a commercial where, you know, it was like, oh, don't believe everything you hear sort of thing. But what I did as a kid, along with friends, is we came up with the idea of the house monkey. And the house monkey, it basically invades your house in sort of search of banana cream pies. Really likes banana cream pies, likes throwing them at people. And it attacks houses based on your wealth. And of course, you know, house monkeys and house hippos, they're all really small compared to what they would actually be. Anyway. Choo! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Anyway, the house monkeys, they would choose who they would attack based on the wealth of that person's house. So, you know, people that live in mansions, they'd have lots of house monkeys. Well, people who live in boxes, uh, they'll have maybe one house monkey. Anyway, I just thought that was the funniest thing ever. I, we actually did a recording, because back then, um, which actually I think kind of reminds me of this, Maxwell Labs here. Oh, hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record? Yeah, sure. But, yes. Okay, that's good. Um, but anyway, yeah, when I was a kid, what me and my friends would do is we would, we had, we had a tape recorder, so one school pro- this is goes back really, really far, so I need to think for a moment. Okay. So one school project um, was requiring me to do some recording of such, so I needed a tape recorder. And that's when I really got interested in using tape recorders. So, no, no, there's no need to pay me. Oh, we're getting all sorts of stuff. You are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff. Jeff. Head south. I'm Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can and became the defense spray. 
That's a really awesome thing about Jeff. But anyway, I gotta continue with my story. So I had to get do this school project where I had to, you know, use a tape recorder to record something. And I actually became really interested in using tape recorders after that. And these guys here are looking for Tessie. Anyway, so one thing is that couple, there were a couple things that me and my friends would do with tape recorders. One was record that was actually put on the tape recorder while playing video games. That was the first occurrence of actually something that I would consider let's play for me. Was putting on a tape recorder while playing the game. Trust me, it was not as interesting as this now. Like, I'm not even kidding. I actually did try and do an entire playthrough of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time while doing this with a tape recorder. The only problem is I got to about the water temple, the ice temple, and then... Oh! Kikuku! Give me some gum now, or I'll use the pop gun on you! But I got that back, didn't I? No! And I have two now! Where'd you get the second one? I nicked it from that guy wearing glasses! Great job, Ninja Bucky! All in a day's work! I'll take care of everything! Ninja Bucky away! But anyway, I did that recording with the recorder up until uh, about the ice caverns because I actually ran out of tapes to use. And this is Tessie, the Loch Ness Monster equivalent in Earthbound. But then, after a while, we also got to doing other things with recording. Like, once was um, doing an actual Olympics, so... We were doing, like, a made-up Olympics. You know, like, the stupid things like jumping down hills, riding on dinosaurs in the middle of lakes. That's, no, that's the game. Look at Ninja Monkey there. He's so awesome. He gets to ride on the head because he's got a perfect sense of balance and everything. Anyway, I'm just jumping from topic to topic, so I'm talking about the game and about this at the same time, so I don't know how messy this is going to come out. But anyway, yeah, so we did, like, Olympics... And we did Crocodile Hunter, because I really loved the Crocodile Hunter when I was a kid. He was one of my favorite things to watch shows to watch as a kid. Crikey! I just loved that show so much, and you have no idea how excited I was when I got to see, when I realized there was a movie. It makes me so mad that Steve Irwin is gone now, because I really loved his show, and he was an awesome guy. And he was fun to watch, and he really made the animal world really nice to listen to. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, I'm getting distracted. But So I started this off talking about house monkeys and got into how I started recording in the first place. A, be a pencil, a pencil, you know what that means? We're gonna be coming back here. That's right. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in! Oh goody. Brick road! Anyway, so I just got it on this tangent here about how I started recording and things I recorded. Uh, and then uh, after Olympics and stuff like that, welcome to my modest dungeon, Brick Road. But yeah, after starting out with some basic recordings, I'm going to finish all my story really quick here first, so uh, I better just keep walking because I'm losing my sense of concentration now. But after doing, you know, oh, present. Worthless Protoplasm. Yeah, that's a worthless name you have there, Protoplasm. But yeah, so after recording things like, you know, Olympics and recording while playing games, uh, started doing more random recording type things, like, uh, yeah, like a news type thing. Like, I remember doing some news type recordings, and I remember my friends did one that was based, I think, off of that Family Guy one, where they are watching, uh, lions or something chasing people. I don't remember, I don't watch Family Guy that much at all now. Actually, I didn't re watch it much to begin with, to be honest. I, I was more of a Simpsons type person, but sadly, Simpsons... I don't know, Simpsons just hasn't quite been the same since, uh... Since after the Simpsons movie, that's when it really just wasn't quite as interesting for me anymore. Oh, and I'm running out of power, so I will have to end this episode soon. Uh, give me one second, I need to fix this. 
And we're back after that nonsense. So we're going to wrap up this battle, and I think we're going to end the episode right now. So I've been talking on a verbal diatribe of Jeff's now a level 5 offense. What up by 1 vitality? What up by 1 IQ? What up by 1 maximum HP? What up by 10? Anyway, I've been going on a verbal diatribe for a while, and I think I'm going to stop now with getting some insecticide spray. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And may your ninja bubble monkey soar like a falcon. Have a nice day, and remember, it's a ninja monkey. He will find you. Especially you, Mr. Cookie Stealer. We're coming back for those cookies, dang it. Just because I know that you lied. You lied, I... I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, have a nice day. See you later.